Both source code and protocols are challenging to design. The use of refactorings is one way to assist designers build those correct designs. A refactoring is a predefined transformation of something that preserves certain desirable properties. Now, a source code refactoring transforms source code while preserving compilability and program functionality. Source code refactorings were made popular by Fowler, and the Eclipse Integrated Development Environment implements many refactorings. But rather than refactoring source code, we refactor protocols and interactions in multi-agent systems while preserving agent interoperation. An interaction is a new architectural construct that combines a protocol on the bottom, a set of agents on the top, each of which enacts the roles of the protocol, and a set of interceptor chains which connect each agent to the protocol. An interceptor chain is a list of interceptors where messages can flow up and down the chain. Interceptor chains are the primary mechanism that enable interaction refactoring. Our library contains 30 interaction refactorings shown here. They are grouped into three types. Agent designer independence refactorings change the agent's implementation at, at the top end of the interceptor chains. Designer collaboration refactorings change adjacent interceptors within a single interceptor chain. And protocol designer independence refactorings change the protocol and the bottom end of the interceptor chain. As an example, let's assume Alice and Bob have agents that interoperate with each other using a protocol called pay. Pay is a very simple protocol between two roles, the payer and the payee, consisting of two messages. First, the payer promises to make a payment to payee, and then, at some later point, actually transfers the promised payment. Now assume Alice and Bob want to change their interaction to be faster and more secure. They ask Paul, a protocol designer, for help. Paul meets with Alice and Bob to understand the details of the current interaction and the requirements for the new interaction. At this meeting, Paul learns neither Alice nor Bob have time or budget to change or test new agent implementations. Paul will have to support the new requirements without changing the existing agents. Paul seems to have a very difficult task. Fortunately, Paul learns both Alice and Bob's existing implementation use our interaction architecture. Paul proposes a checking account from Global Bank to solve both the transfer speed and security concerns. Now, Alice, Bob, and Global Bank will interoperate using the pay via check protocol shown here. At design time, Paul writes the following code to transform interactions from protocol pay to protocol pay via check. To eliminate any changes to agent implementations, Paul selects a list of interaction refactorings to transform protocol pay to protocol pay via check. These refactorings will generate the interce interceptor chain contents. The first refactoring adds a new bank role enacted by Global Bank. The second refactoring renames the promise message to choose. The third refactoring opens the Global Bank checking account when the protocol is initialized. The last refactoring transforms the payment message to deposit funds in the checking account, send Bob an electronic check, then Bob will redeem the check at Global Bank to receive payment. Finally, Paul serializes the interaction to a file, which is read at runtime. We implemented our system using the Jade Agent platform. Interceptor chains are implemented as chain agents. Agents always talk to their chain agents, and the chain agents talk to each other. At runtime, we use the following files. The .ser files are the serialized object files containing the interceptor and interceptor chains created at design time. The .config files give each agent control over the protocols and roles they will agree to enact. And the .shell files are the test scripts that configure and execute the various interactions we'll see. Here is the config file for Alice. The first two parameters of each line are the protocol and role Alice will agree to enact. Here, Alice agrees to enact the payer role for four different protocols. The remaining parameters on each line are the name of the serialized interaction file and the role for the interceptor chain implementation. Now we launch the Jade runtime with our agents and the pay via check.shell script. Switching to the Jade sniffer, we demonstrate Alice and Bob using the pay via check protocol. The next example shows three concurrent payments. Alice and Bob continue to use pay, but their chain agents use pay in blue, pay via middleman in red, and pay via check in green. We have demonstrated the following five points. We have a library of predefined interaction refactorings. We have Java classes to automatically refactor an interaction. We assert that all refactorings, with a couple of exceptions, preserve agent interoperability, and we're working on a proof of that. Our predefined refactorings simplify the design time process of evolving multi-agent interactions as requirements change. And our Jade-based implementation executes the interceptors at runtime.